the new Parkway Theater, where good food, diverse entertainment, and community create a place for everyone. For showtimes and special events, check out www.thenewparkway.com. You are listening to High School Father Now, where real talk is our vernacular. What is the situation that you would have to walk away $30 million from? I don't know, because right now I'll suck dick for $30 million. <laughs> I really don't know. There is not a lot I wouldn't do for thirty million dollars. Yes, yeah. I know that. I mean, it has to be like an ongoing <laughs> prostitution ring where I'm just servicing Grand Glancy's top recruits. You know how to work with brothers with, with tattoos on their. You know, you know how to tickle a brother's tape. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it has to be something like, and I mean beyond. Like we're talking thirty million here. But I don't. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a sucker for money, but you know, I got some bills that need to be paid right uh, now. Okay. I mean, it would have to be yeah. some serious like ethical shit that yeah, I was not right? like I would like, like they're like I want you to kill a bunch of my mama <laughs> no so someone could have sex with my mom for 30 million dollars I would give her half of it at least yeah. I'm sure my mom would she mom would be like yeah that's a good investment <laughs> Pumpkin spice season, by the way. Just want to throw it out there to all our listeners yeah. out there. We're enjoying some pumpkin spice caramels from Weathers. Shout out to Weathers. Weathers. What is that? What is it Weathers? Uh, Weathers, Weathers, man. Shout out to Weathers. Sponsorship. Shout out to Weathers. Uh, keeping uh, keeping old people keeping old people busy and awake during church. <laughs> that and the butterscotch. <laughs> keeping them awake while they're in church and watching Jag. <laughs> Jag. So much a heat of the night night court. <laughs> yeah, my father watched it. I thought you were watching Jack, though, Aaron. I thought you were watching You know I was watching Jack. Captain Bell was fine as hell. Mm-hmm. I was watching Jack with the old people. Do it. The old people was doing it to pass the day. I was watching it for Captain Bell. Who? Uh, you know, the internet wasn't out yet. I had to start somewhere. <laughs> Our next subject is the MLB playoffs. Um, main focus is on the playoff performance of the Oakland Athletics. And let me just say, everyone, I am distraught. I'm in pain, and I am terribly dissatisfied with another ending to the A season where the playoff game or series is nothing more than a big letdown on the hype that we all want to believe, yet every time we start to believe, it lets you down. It's like that absent father or, or 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 just you know just like keep coming back like you remember will smith in uh in, in, <laughs> in, on, in beverly hills fresh prince of bel-air fresh prince of bel-air, beverly beverly hills hills in bel-air. Fresh prince of bel-air when his dad came back and like he like got his hopes up and they built him up and, and will smith starts screaming at the end of the yeah. episode dude i wanted to cry like will smith at the end of that episode okay i want to know why the a's don't love me why billy bean don't love me and i i come to realize it is the curse of Billy Bean. We are cursed by Billy Bean, and as long as he has something to do with this team and he's in a decision-making uh, capacity, whether it's the actual GM or a vice president of operations or whatever other kind of monkey shit he gets to hire, who he wants to make do what he wants to happen, the A's are not going to win, and I'm good with that now. I understand that, and I will no longer put myself out there to be hurt. I feel like a fool. I was wrong, Aaron. Shamanai does not have it. He did not have it that night. And that's why I had all those sound bites. Because basically that was like the soundtrack of the A's he game. Might, he, he pitched like he was 5'8". Eh? He pitched like he had a Terminator, a Eliminator, and an Excavator. And it, none of them worked. Okay? All I know is that I felt like Randy Quaid for a good part of that game. What do you mean by that? Randy Quaid in Major League Two. You're in Major League, man. That's what somebody's one of. He was in Major League Two, Randy Quaid. He's in Major League One and Two. He's a fan. He's a fan. Oh, he was a fan. Fans. Okay, yeah. I was saying, I'm like, I'm only thinking Randy Randy Quaid was a player. I'm like, nah, he was. Uh, he was the fan. That, that was Omar Epps as, as as Billy May Hayes in the second one. Come on, yeah, that was. Hayes. 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 Well, these nice look different. Wesley's nice. <laughs> got real. Got real got skinny. Got lighter. Got skinny. Yeah, and couldn't act as good either. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what's these lines? Is way better at these lines than him. Came off so much more natural. Like, I was like, it's like Omar Epps was trying to act like he's a badass. Wesley Snipes is actually kind of a badass. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let's go around the table. Uh, 
Mel, you were actually at the game, I hear. Yeah, I went. Yeah, I was there. Okay, so so what what was the atmosphere? Just like give it to us, because I wasn't there. I don't think any of us, none of us were there. Um, There's a lot of people there, over 50,000 50, people, you know? Um, so first off, getting in was a process. Mm -hmm. Like within, I would say, half hour leading up to first pitch. And then, you know, if you missed that train, you were in bumper to bumper for a good 30 minutes to get in there. Like, they just weren't used to the volume of people in there. Yeah. Um, so, like, from the jump, you're like, oh, this is going to be, like, a night. Yeah. The next thing, I'm getting in line, and you know how they give out the rally towels and all yeah. that stuff? They give me a blue towel. Like, we, we came in through uh, where the taco trucks are. Yeah. In the plaza. Yeah. And instead of one of the yellow towels, that we're seeing people, while we're in line, we're seeing people with them inside, you know, doing the twirl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, they gave us blue ones, and they were branded like MLB playoffs, but it was like we're playing the Rays, and you guys just yeah, gave you know, us navy blue. blue. Yeah. Billy Bean should have knocked over that case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 box of towels should have knocked that over and said, "That's what losing sounds like." There's was filming Angels in the Outfield too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which, was, which was filmed in Oakland. That is. Yeah. yeah. B Billy, right. Billy Bean is trying to get another Netflix movie made about him. That's his problem. Like that fool. Yeah. Anyways, all right. Continue, sir. Continue. It was w once it got going though, um, and everyone got settled in. I mean, it was like a Raider game, even louder. I'd say, you know, Mount Davis was open. Mm -hmm. It was just popping. Like people were making a lot of noise, and then, uh, you know, in the bottom of the first. We all know what happened, but like it was, it was peaking. Like it was going to be a long game, going to be a good one. And then as soon as, as soon as got, got that out, last out, it was kind of deflated. Dude, that's the story of my A's fandom. Yeah. I would say that. Most A's games, you don't have that many fans, which is why that process to get in probably took so long. But also, a bunch of fans who don't know how to fucking cheer for the team. Like, you get down four runs in the first, real A's fans are still going to be... Just cheering. The drums, knowledgeable the yeah, yeah, history. Yeah. That we come back from shit like that. And then, that, like, deflates the team. Like, the whole stadium... Gets quiet when they fucking... Gets quiet, and y'all motherfuckers don't even show up. Yeah. Yeah. For none of the season, yeah, for any of the season, and then, you know, you know, you get high hopes now because oh, they won 90, 90 games again, and man, those are hipsters. I think there's something to that. I think that you don't, you don't. The fact that you could pack the stadium is good, but I think that also maybe it's part of like people not wanting to get too far ahead on their skis about like you know just just cheering the whole time and not tripping, just like you know keep the energy up. You know, whenever the pitcher's pitching, just get hella loud. Like smart fans, and if you like, you're in a stadium that like, like you know the culture is like when you're, when the other pitcher is pitching, you just get fucking loud. And you just like keep that shit loud. Stress the pitcher out. Don't let the pitcher be comfortable when it's quiet because your team is not hitting well. Like I know that it's, it's hard when they don't give you something to cheer about, but at the same time, like you got to keep that buzz going. I feel like uh, uh, more East Coast teams kind of have that that vibe in playoff baseball. It always seems like there's like kind of just an like, ambient noise or something going on. And it's never just like super quiet. I think that maybe that's more an East Coast thing, or maybe more just like an older, older fan uh, tradition and culture there. The, the thing that got me though was, was it was another letdown, just like they did back in the past. They got the bases loaded, or you know, a man on less than two outs, and they didn't turn it into anything. And that's so frustrating. That's a mo for the A's, and they don't manufacture the runs as effectively as they need to. And then Jerks and Profar, bro, it's like you take that breaking ball at 80 miles an hour off your knee I'm, I'm not saying it ain't gonna hurt I'm not saying that I wouldn't done the same thing that you did but I don't play baseball professionally and I know that if you got the bases loaded and it comes in and it's gonna hit you you take that bro yeah especially when you, when you got like 15 hits for the season yeah you gotta take it <laughs> actually after that terrible season My, you ship him back to Texas I'll ship him back to Texas <laughs> for uh, hell you can sit him back sit him back some, some guns or sit, you can sit back a couple you know, Red, whatever you want <laughs> for him, you send him back to where he came from and give me George W. Bush. I'll take him back and forth. Yeah, well, I think uh, was it Rude, Rubenet Odor got like tacos for life or something like that, or like uh, food for life at a steakhouse in Texas too for punching uh, Batista in the face. I'm like, man, you give us his leftovers every time he goes to that restaurant for <laughs> jerks and profile. <laughs> just like, just say that. Yeah, the doggy bag. Just send the doggy bag our way every time. Just remember, dude. Just wear the pitch, get a run in, tie the game, put Morton in another bad situation. Bases are still loaded, nobody out or one out. You know. I also think the A's are not as good as their ninety. Back to back ninety wins would yeah. suggest. I think they know how to win ninety games in the regular season, but they're not built mm -hmm. for the playoffs. And since they've lost the last what, what yeah. it, two wild card games, yeah. they've been like it's just not. 
two wild card games but the I last don't, four. I, don't, I just don't think they're there yet. They got some good talent, but they're not there yet. And you asked me, I think like the eighth inning of that game, how many how many Dominican players are there? <laughs> Do well, you remember my response? Hey, one? Uh, maybe one. one. He said zero. I said not enough. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Slider for a while. You need generational talent to me to win yeah. a championship. Yeah. Whether, or whatever sport you're talking about. Yeah. And I don't, you know, I, I like Chapman. I like Olsen. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if they're like put put the whole team on their back yeah. type of player. No, I think I, I, thought I saw team. some, you know, we yeah. saw some some things from Chapman. Um, I think we were talking about the other day uh, and I said like we kind of compared him to like with Scott Rowland potentially like yeah. But like Scott we, Rowland had pools. Scott Rowland could hit pretty well, but he was never he never like just wrecked the, the no, league he didn't. as he, a batter. He was a, he was a he solid was just, yeah, hitter and yeah. really good. You would say he had some good, he had some all But he was dope season. defender, like the best third baseman in the league. And guess what you do? You, then you put Pujols at first base. We got we to gotta sign a Dominican named Pujols, y'all. I'm, I'm looking for Pujols. <laughs> you win two World Series, win one of them. Yeah, man, I'll go to Curacao. Send me to Curacao. I'll fit right in. You do. You got Curacao. Like, yeah, yeah, I got yeah, Pur- told me, Pur- uh, Pur- Well, that's the wrong Curacaoian that we got. <laughs> we need another Curacao. Hey, Jerickson, man, where your friends at, bro? I think I, I'm disappointed because I predicted the A's to go to the World Series. Me too, uh, because I was being u- uber positive last week, and I knew I shouldn't have been. But I was like, you know, I'm just not gonna. I'm just gonna be positive. And I'm just gonna enjoy this ride. I'm gonna try and enjoy the Cowboys ride. I'm trying to enjoy this ride without being overly cynical. And I was proven that I should stay cynical, so I will. I think you're all right. They just gotta win that game, and they still keep. They, do. they need to. They need no. They need to win a fucking elimination game. But, they yeah, need to eliminate win another win. team, and they have but not can, done that. They are like, like one in like oh, for the last one in like yeah, but they're like probably like one and eight in those games since the Billy Bean era started. One and ten. The only four. Like in the that, last they made it to the AC, ALCS one one year, right? And they lost the elimination game there. Yeah, but they but the, other than that, they yeah. they haven't won an yeah. opening yeah. series. They haven't yeah. won yeah. one of yeah. the playing games. Can't blame them on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've never been a fan of the wild card. I, I don't like like the Giants make me hate the wild card. Yeah, like just a team that didn't play well all year. They played mediocre, just but got hot at the end. Mm-hmm. And I'm like baseball. That isn't what baseball is. Baseball is a, it's a marathon. Yeah. It's a pace. It's a marathon. You gotta have a good bullpen. You gotta have a good. You gotta have good people coming off the bench. You gotta have a good pinch hitters. But now with the wild card, you could be mediocre in some places as long as you just get hot at the right time. And so like. I'm fine with one wild card. I'll be honest, I'm not happy with two. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather we just went straight to a seven-game series with the A's versus Houston. Yeah, yeah. Like, or, and, I, and I don't mind Tampa Bay getting in. They're fun. Yeah. But it's just, i just rather have a seven-game series. I'm tired of five-game series. Yeah. I'd rather have seven-game series. I'd rather just go straight to it. Skip the wild card. I understand the whole fun. And yeah. Teams will still be in it, but... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm down just to have a three-game playing series. It should be a three-game series. For the wild card? The best way to do it is not have a one... Like, baseball has never really come down to one game like that. Like, it's series. It's all about series, even in just the way you play your season out. You're playing yeah, series. Agree. So, like, whoever wins the series... A three-game series... The three isn't really the, doing much. You might as well keep it in one. <laughs> no, because I think a three-game series, and, and if you are the if you have the advantage, you get three games at home. The only the other team has three to be games... Because three games... What if you're, like, the Washington Nationals? You could just go... Your bullpen might not see a single game. Because you're just doing best out of two, right? Oh, it's best of three, so I you got to win two games. wins two. Yeah. But nah, that's, that, I, I think that's why I say, if you don't make a series, they yeah. got to be seven, so we can see how good you're Look, look, this is a five-game series. The Washington have gone to Patrick Corbin, yeah. who started game one. They have not, they know their bullpen is so crappy. They're going to their starters because it's such a short series. And they're like, let's just steal this series by going to our starters. Fuck, fuck the bullpen. And that's the problem with short series. If you're going to do any series... Go ahead and make it seven. If you're not going to do seven, then might as well just have one. Yeah. I like the five-game series, kind of. I would rather be seven. I'd rather be two seven-game series to make it to the World Series. But I'm saying if we have yeah, the playing game. It needs to be five games in we, the first round. We already have. We just need a win. Oakland A's just need a fucking win. I'm talking beyond that. I'm talking about what will make the baseball playoff picture more compelling, if you think about it, is I mean, it is a pretty three compelling, games, though. It's still compelling. Series. Well, that's why they added the extra play. The, right. That's why they added that, is to keep 
more cities involved to the last week to of the last season. Yes, yeah. to make money. And so, and so they don't trade away their players. At the yeah, deadline. and so that's that, like it's working, but it's, it's working. like that one playing game is not like it's it's, it's kind of fucked up. It's frustrating for us to keep losing it. Yeah, and we keep losing it, but I'm not even worried about losing it. I just would. I, I wish it was more than one game. Like, is one one game takes off, and then you gotta. I, I just think they ain't got enough big time players to step up in that one game. Well, when the Giants won, though, was it a playing game uh-uh. or they were just wild card? They made a wild, a wild card, card one year. They didn't have to win. One year, one year was a wild card. No, one year was a play-in, wasn't it? I don't no, think I don't so. think so. The last year they were. I think they were just maybe the wild last card one. Teams. Maybe 2014 they I'm might. The, have, yeah, the, the first two they were the wild card team. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, I don't know what y'all think about. What, what, what would you think about a three-game series for instead of that one game the A's played? It was a three-game series. Yeah. So I think, given what you were saying about the fact that uh, you know, like getting into the wild card, you can be kind of middle of the road and just maximize it. Yeah. I think you you can make a case for being three game series just so it evens itself out and it better teams get a little bit more of an advantage like you're saying maybe not three at home but a two and a one okay. yeah the you travel know? will be hard but, but so my problem the with the wild card is that it's a one game mm-hmm. yeah. so I mean I'm not making excuses for what happened no. but I'm just saying I think the structurally it's not there that being said I would rather do away with it and play four teams just yeah. the four teams yeah Back two to seven game teams. series like it used to be but it's it's added a value to keep fans more engaged. Which is probably the, their biggest thing. They're worried about losing fans, and there's more they can do to like help keep fans engaged. And a big part of that is this playoff thing. But they need to hone in, make it a little better, in my opinion. But then also, it's like the way they are, <clears throat> the way I think it's maybe one of those ebbs and flows. But the way players are being evaluated uh, on the field with saber metrics and like the home run ball, like baseball needs to find a way throughout. And this is like a systemic thing that a lot of these teams are doing. Is they're doing this saber metrics where they're all not worried about batting average. Or stealing bases or manufacturing runs, it's all about the home run. And since that since that's happened, baseball's seen a steep decline, or it's it's added to the decline because it was already declining, because there's not enough action. There's not like the, the funnest thing about baseball is when I'm on base, I might steal. Yeah, like funny. if you ever play baseball, that keeps you engaged because that's yeah. just like man, I could steal. Engaged. I might get thrown out. I yeah, probably should exactly. steal, but like yeah. I might steal. <laughs> like or if you're good, you're like. I'm gonna steal, and they ain't gonna get me. Like, cause you know, you know. But this like, team is at the forefront of shifting this baseball. The, the shifts. Bay. The shifts. I would argue that the A's, the A's ball, the like shifter? no stealing bases, no bunting, and that's what the whole league is turning to now. And now we don't have the resources to compete with the rest of the league. No. Taking so we need to go like, back to the bunting. <laughs> <and> the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't hit enough. We had home runs this year, so we're gonna be like, we had three guys who had four guys who had thirty home runs. Like, regardless. Manufacture runs. The teams that have won the World Series, the majority of them in the last couple the seasons have been players. have had either good pitchers, but they've also manufactured runs. They've yeah. played against good pitchers and but they've made them not work. The Houston Nationals, though. They just had a. They just had a. They got a squad. They, they, they had a squad, squad on up. top of playing on a little league. Well, Al, women's softball. Altuve balls out. Altuve's always on base, though. So like, oh, he, yeah. and he steals he bases is. and. Yeah, and so does George Springer. World Series. They, they, it, they it's, well, balls. yeah, because they like all George of them were like, Springer "Hey man, it's tea it off time, bro. We here. We at the show." Um, and then you Darvish is pitching bad practice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, I think the teams, the teams, they have power, but like they know how to like get guys on base. They have guys who can, you know, put pressure on the pitcher, make the pitcher pitch differently, and be thinking about that in the back of their head. Like that's part of the fun of baseball. That's like playoff baseball is so much more fun to watch because everything means so much more because the height. It's, it's at a heightened state, right? Mm-hmm. And, and the fan, you hear it in the, the the way the fans murmur in the background. You see it in you know the way every pitch is like really like taken, you know, saying a lot slower. Especially when you get guys on, or you like you do a pitching change, and there's somebody uh, you know pinch hitter up to bat. Like that shit means something. Like this guy hits a home run right now, it might change the, the outcome of the game. Like yeah. or this guy gets on base, you know, saying like this pitcher is now going to get pulled because you know saying he doesn't know how to pick fools off, like or he doesn't know how to keep guys on. There, there's there's a lot of things that go into a baseball that are enhanced during the playoffs. Unfortunately, too many of these teams throughout the season don't play that way, so the enhancement of that in the playoffs has suffered some, but also, like, just throughout the regular season, it's a lot more boring. Like, I'm just sitting around, everyone's on their phones. Maybe that's why they did it. said, don't worry about getting on base and, you know, making contact, because that's how we get more foul balls. And everyone's on their phones now, so let's, how about we just go for home runs? <laughs> it's like, it's like we're going to avoid lawsuits of balls hitting people in the head, because they're all on their cell phones, so let's make sure we just go for home runs. <laughs> it's like, okay, so if I swing and miss, it's okay. Yes. What about three times in a row? Yes. Did you go for a home run? Yeah. Okay, we good. That's what they do. And they're like, hey, man, no more lawsuits, no more medical bills. You know what I'm saying? People would be happy on their cell phones at the game. Not engaged, not learn nothing, not having a good time, and baseball is dying. Baseball, you A-B'd yourself. Sponsorship. 
knew that I was going to come eventually. <laughs> Hey, if y'all don't know, I come up with a new term. It's called a being yourself. It's where you do stuff that's not in your interest, but you think it's in your interest, and it's it'll cessate an immediate feeling for some reason, but it works against you in the end. It's like kind of like when keeping it real goes wrong, and Antonio Brown definitely did something like that, like in the biggest way. Like basically lost like however sixty million dollars, thirty million dollars guaranteed. He ain't getting paid by nobody right now. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's move on to the next thing. Um, shout out, oh shout out to Billy Bean sponsorship, but um. We're going to play a game of Heads Up. If you don't know what Heads Up is, it's the game that was taking smartphones by storm two and a half to three years ago. <laughs> it was like five years ago here. <laughs> Maybe no. five, when Ellen DeGeneres... It was like <laughs> five years ago. So, if you don't know, it became popular because Ellen featured it. It's a smartphone game where there are topics. You have categories, and the topics will be like movies or uh, sports... And you hold the phone away from your head. People give you clues, and you have to guess what it is based upon the clues they're giving you. They cannot say the name uh, or say rhymes with necessarily, but they got to give you clues uh, to help you get the word. Um, everyone gets a minute. Winner takes all of the pumpkin spice caramels. <laughs> all right. I'm so who wants, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Thank oh, you. Mr. Let's Let's Aaron. Okay. Uh, I was like, good thing I already ate a bunch of those things. I know that's all I don't care about this guy. So you can choose your topic. Please just announce the topic, uh, the category you're going to choose. And okay, I'm going to do TV shows. Ooh, TV okay. shows. All right. Yeah, I'm going to press. So down means so it's we're going to have to write it down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Aaron is doing movies. Movies. Right, I'm doing TV, TV shows. TV shows. I'm about to push play. In a world. Put it like in a world. Okay, here it comes. Movies used to cost right, get less ready. than it costs. Get ready. Now. Here we go. Where did you get yeah. the clues? Um, Coon. Nickname for Washington's football team. Trash. Oh. The other name. The other name that people don't like. You wear it on your bones. Oh, uh, um. Redskins. Uh, I don't. That counts. Go uh, cool. skins. Skins. Uh, skins. Oh, okay. Uh, last name Burris. Plexico. Uh, no, the other one. No, fuck he, con- he, he conquered. He conquered. He funny. He was the Moors. Um, what are the Moors? Uh, uh, Fava beans. Fava beans. What's that? <laughs> <name? laughs> yeah, Fava beans. Uh, Fava beans. Uh, Anthony Hopkins. Uh, uh, I know. I know the black. It's the black guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I don't know his name. The right? sheep. If you want to skip, you can. Yeah. Right. Now, oh, Ooh, my bad. Oh, this was a great TV show. I loved it. It started. It started the dude who. What's his name? He's real funny. Donald Law. Law. I don't know people's real. I would pass. <laughs> I would pass. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Don't worry, bro. I'm keeping track, I'm keeping track dude. Oh, okay. Uh, this is my father's favorite TV show. Woke up one morning and him and Brandon was watching it together. Uh, it's about the Korean War. Wait, hold on. I'm talking about first stuff. I just Time's up. You know. Oh, time's, time's up. Time's up. I just want to let you know, you can't start it off. Like, I know it's a long my story. Dad, my dad and Brandon was in the bed watching this show. Dude, I, didn't, I didn't know why. I didn't know. What? It's, what? It's like they was over there watching Jack eat Werther's. Hey, hey. See, the, the problem is, since Jerry should have made teams, why am I giving you a good clip? Yeah. Wait, wait, should, should we do? We can do teams. Nah, 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 I'm trying to. No, it's too late now. Yeah. It, 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 it was Mash. It was Mash. All right, I was about to say it's Mash the first. At first, it was the only one that I was thinking about. Everybody watching. Jerry was giving you that stupid ass music for it. I said the Korean War. Okay, so you got you got one. I think you got one. I got, I oh, that's done. fine. One. You did get that's one. Fine. Hey, just to let you know, I'm going to steal these candies anyway because I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, oh, quick it's... correction. Um, you flip down for correct and up to skip. Sorry about that. Oh. So, Grant, wait, what was the one? What, what was the one you saying no. your dad was a big fan of? Match. Match. Remember, oh, when we woke up, remember when we, when we stayed at my parents' house and then we woke up and I was like, Oh shit, my dad watching Mash. Should I go in there? It's him and Brandon. Who was the one before that? Like, what the hell are you doing? Brandon's like, man, this is a great show. <laughs> Brandon, my mom hates that. Grounded for life. You watch it with my Grounded for life. I've never heard of that show. Oh my god, that show was All right. hilarious. So, since we were just talking about the sticks, I'm gonna go with video games. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. I don't know how I feel about this, but let's run it. Ah. Oh. Pass. Uh, pass that shit. Yeah. Does just go past it? Uh, I don't know that one either. Pass that oh, Drake. Game? Oh, oh, uh, oh, a game where you—it was like a, you moving everything around, and it's like a big thing of yarn, and it's collecting everything. Shitty PlayStation uh, puzzle world game. Pass. Yeah. 
Oh, Ooh, the one with the um, the one with that looks like a, a submarine suit. suit. A bunch of mutants. And that's a mutants. horrible category. We're not gonna let you go again. This oh. is an RPG game where they have a big ass red sword. <laughs> I mean, these are games I've I stay away from. I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, this is oh, a game. You, you, you see a bunch play. of people stomping on this pad uh, to the beat up song. They stomp oh, together. Oh, Dance Dance Revolution. Oh, this is Hadouken. Yeah, yeah, they got the. the, the Hadouken, but faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Ken Ryu. Check, check, check. Oh, you no, can. No, Ken and Ryu. Oh, okay. oh shoot. Pass. <laughs> Oh shit, it wasn't built in Pass. the day. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't oh, built in the day. Oh, day. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't. It time to. That was horrible. <laughs> hey, they gave you some one. Some I should have picked that. That was a bad no category. That was the worst category. That was category. a bad category. The bad category. I apologize, <laughs> everyone. Uh, you can never get that time back. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wait, thanks for rocking with us wait, anyway. It was it was video games, so they offer you like some new game name. What was that? It was a Latin word. Deuce X Little Bit. Super Street Fighter. Rome was the one I should go. The only reason Bioshock. Little Big World was the one. That was the one that Jerry said was free. But why do y'all know these games? Like why do you know a video game person? He's a Yeah, but I was over like But the only reason I know the demo code is because it's a character in Super Smash Bros. You passed too quick on the Super Street Fighter though. Yeah, yeah. It was Super Street Fighter. That was the one we could have to see that. Hadouken. Like, next said, one. All you can. Uh-huh. That, that was actually our bad. Yeah, we should have helped that. And then the Rome one, we could have just not get, had to guess Rome. We I'm going to go up. on the record and say it was a category. Who's Here going? Go. Go you going to Animal down? Kingdom. My favorite TNT Animal show. Animal Kingdom, wow. <laughs> a TNT show. Uh, uh, Rizzoli and Isles is close second, and then the closer third. Did you watch Rizzoli and Isles? No, I'm just... <laughs> Hopefully not from Rizzoli. I, I, I've watched enough TNT basketball I'll watch or it have it in the background <laughs> that I always hear Rizzoli and Isles and... and Watch it for Owls. My mom actually watched the closer. So I watched it when Owls was on that depressing ass show. Yeah. Uh, One of those. About the Gallaghers. Oh. Yeah. Let's go, dear. Start all right, all right. Now you talking about the Gallaghers and your, your daddy's TV watching habits over here. <laughs> Man, they all been good clothes, too. <laughs> they all be right. Uh, I'm going Animal Kingdom. Shepard. Animal is blue. It's a, uh, blue it Jay. Red oh, uh. Wisconsin. Badger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a cat, but a lion. Yeah. Tiger. Oh, no. Dog. It's raining cat. Yeah. Mm. No. It's an easy category. Mm. Uh, they help smuggle people Phoenix. across the border. Mules. No. No. Phoenix hockey. Ah, oh, no, wrong. Uh, coyotes. Yes, yeah. no, you're right. No, stop moving. No, no, stop moving. All right, uh, eight legs, not an insect. Spider. Mm -hmm. It's a spider. You got an easy category, dude. I'm not a dog, one. but a cat. Ooh, man, I'm lost. It's an easy category. Toronto. Blue Jays. Dude, this category is so easy. Uh, what the Rams used to be called before they started winning? Blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> wait, before they, uh, wait. The sheep? The goats? Yeah, the mm -hmm. sheep. Uh, killed my boy, the crocodile hunter. Uh, stingray. Yeah. Manta ray. Oh man, uh, the bike is very dangerous because it's full of bacteria. Bianchi. And they, they're Bolton all bike. on this one island. Oh, Komodo Dragon. Yeah. Uh, your girl Natalie Portman played in a movie about this, except she wasn't the black right, Natalie Portman played in it? Swan, yeah. Oh, Black Swan. Ooh, right. See, I was like, once I realized they were giving you all those easy things, I'm like, I'm not giving them nothing. They don't have to do with animals. Kind of I just want to know, man, your mind is very sharp. <laughs> well, I just, I'm just saying, as soon as you saw it, you had something to say. <laughs> I had nothing. I'm like, I played heads up before. You know, I used to go oh, yes, hard. Yeah. All right, so I got how Association. many? Association. One, two, yeah. three, four, five. Seven, Twice. eight, nine. I got you nine. nine. You got seven. I got nine. You got seven. You got seven. Tell you how many. I got yeah, nine. Pass it to if it gave you he nine, you got nine. nine. I got all of them. You got eight then. I got nine, y'all. I got nine. Pass it on to Jason. You know what? You got nine. Jason, you can, you can, you can vouch. Jason will vouch. Dude. No, you got it wrong and you went down with him. I did get a spider. You got a spider. That's four then. He was... It was I didn't get I didn't get red didn't get I didn't get I didn't get swan or red red something whatever the red, red panda I didn't get that. Okay. Oh, we'll do I will right, we'll do a championship round. So we have the top two scores. Go we'll move on to the last round. What, uh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I'm going movies. All right, movies. He's doing movies. Uh, get ready. Get ready. Kingsley played him. 
Who? Benny Kings played him. Uh, Hindi dude. Mahatma. Gandhi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, oh, he was the male gigolo. Yeah. Uh, uh, the male gigolo. Uh, did he stick? Which you call with his butt? Uh, but, <laughs> Rob Schneider. <laughs> male Rob gigolo. Schneider. Oh, Deuce Bigelow. Yeah. There you go. Oh, the movie with Robert De Niro and he was running a thing in Vegas. Vegas. Robert De Niro ran a thing. Oh, uh, where you uh, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That's where you go. I know. Oh, oh, uh, a uh, famous uh, British detective. Yeah. Uh, Jack Cousteau, Pink Panther, uh, <laughs> Mr. Bean, <laughs> Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, uh, he was an angel. Uh, he played an angel. Which you know, your boy from Greece played an angel with he wings. Moonwalk. Oh, uh, uh, a powder. <laughs> uh, 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 Moonwalk. Move it on. came out the same year as Powder. Come on, nigga. Jordan. John Travolta was looking too as long as Jordan. Oh, man. Hey, Wesley Snipes. Snipes, Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, time's yeah. up. Time's up. <laughs> He did not get that off in time. Michael Jackson, Michael, come on. Man. I know the moonwalk. But how'd you not get Casino? How'd you not get Casino? Mr. Bro? Holmes. Oh. How, how have you never seen Casino? I'll give yeah. you Mr. Holmes. We should give Michael. Michael. I'm not gonna remember Michael. Michael, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Michael. But, but you gonna yeah. say you remember Powder, bro? <laughs> like they were came out the same time. They're both the same time. Terrible. They were the same damn movie. They were both the same time. I remember the name of it. Oh, um, yeah, two. All right. Well, I'm, I'm definitely out. So then it's on Jason. Jason, you are. Wait, you you got one or two? Okay, oh, one. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're tied uh, at the bottom. I need to pick a category. Aaron, how much you get? Four. You need me to pick. All right, Aaron get two. Aaron got two or three. I think I got two. Okay. Oh shit, Jason. I mean, I, I guess one of them. I got three. Then I don't know. Two or three. How about sports legends? This is yes. Yeah, let's go ahead. Sports podcast. All right, here we go. Sports so, legends. All right. Hit play when you're ready. Hit play when you're ready, Jason. Don't worry, it's gonna be good. Skyhook. Yeah, yeah. Skyhook. Green? Yeah. Uh, oh, great. Raiders running, running back from Auburn. Uh, Tate Mobile. Kansas City. Four Four Jackson? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Brazilian yeah. soccer legend. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, the greatest of all time. The Mama Kong. Play. I'm Mama Kong. Play. Flow like butterfly. The greatest of all time. Play it up? Mama Kong. Play. The greatest of all time. If a man wants to be called. Okay. Sweetness. 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 Chicago Bears. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's the baseball player for the Yankees. Uh, Asterisk. You, you uh, he was the one that was actually tied on the old school Yankees. You, you Paul O'Neill? No, 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 no. His Play last name? time when the Matt dude hit the... No, no. He was second when the dude broke the home run record. That year. Yeah. yeah. Maris? Uh, think, think, was think, Disney, Disney, Disneyland, 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 Disneyland and a fireplace. Yeah, you got it. Disneyland and a fireplace. Nice. Oh, the governor. I'll be back. The governor. I'll be back. The governor? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll play player. Just got torn out by Dame Lillard. Best rapper. Best rapper. Best NBA rapper. Time's up. Best NBA rapper. Shaquille. What are you doing out here? What are you doing? I'm a host. You got some. You didn't flip it. You got some pissed off Shrek that girl's on it. You didn't flip it. You're like, what the fuck? Uh, you just held it. How many, how many did Jason just get? Walking around? Oh, Jason got a lot more. I feel like he won. What? <laughs> I, think Jason I, think won. He got I think we can do this democratically, right? Yeah. Yeah. My vote's for Jason. <laughs> I think Jason should well, win. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, go ahead. Let's look, 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 look. Steven A. Like, let me hear your point. Let me hear your point because I'm going to tell you what basketball used to be in the My 80s. Point is, <laughs> I watch a preseason game and you can't take much from it. Okay. The only thing I can take from it is uh, the chase center going to be quiet. I don't think it's going to be as ruckus, which worries me about the A. Uh, the Warriors, excuse me. Uh, Worry me about the A. Um, the, a the, the Warriors aren't deep. That's that also was the first thing. I still think they'll probably be a six seed. They're definitely in the playoffs, but you know, maybe some of the rookies can play well. Do you know any uh, of the names of the rookies, Aaron? Yeah, uh, is one of them named Jordan in his name somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Did you watch it play? I watched it. I watched Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole. He actually yeah. played well. He's all right. He's shooting he like John Starks too. out there. He shot a lot, huh? He tweaked his ankle. He was out there acting oh, like yeah. John Starks. That's he what he's doing well. here. He shot well. You know, you know he shot, shot well like John Starks. But that's what I like, though. He shot a bunch of two points. You know, he didn't shoot threes. He, 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 knocked, one down, down, he knocked one down. He knocked one down. He knocked one down. Confidently. He was able to, like, you know, drive in and just pull and pop. You know, he's no he's no Anthony Morrow, but, you know, he could he can ball a little bit. Um... Uh, 
You know, I, I, I don't know who that dude's playing center is. I think he might be washing cards for us all the same time. <laughs> um, but, you know, they're not going to be deep, especially until Clay come back. It made me interested to see how teams can grow. And this is what I wanted. This is to me, and I'm not hating on the words. This is to me what I, I what Kevin Durant got in the middle of. I wanted to see how the Warriors grew. And I, and so it really, it was interesting to watch that game. Uh, like I said, I like that Ricky, Jordan Poole was his name. I like, he had like a, I like how he could stop and pull up. Um, and me being a past Laker fan, I like the Lakers. They're not mm-hmm. that deep either. I mean, they're deep. LeBron likes getting guys that he knows exactly what they can do. Anthony Davis, the only one that, and Kuzma is not playing yet, are the only ones that you don't know what their ceiling is. Yeah. And Kuzma, I don't think, is that high. Anthony Davis is high. I think, I think for the Lakers and Anthony Davis, this is his year and his opportunity to prove that he's on the same level as LeBron. Well, he looked that. good. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, like, you're a generational talent. Everyone thinks you're arguably the best player in the league. Mm-hmm. Um, One you, you have, you've had the most hype about your talent, your skill set, and your ability because you're you basically like Giannis slash, you know, LeBron-ish, you know, in different ways. He can do everything on the court. He can handle the ball. His offensive game has got better shooting. So this is the year where it's like you're playing with LeBron. The two of you, if you guys are really – if LeBron's still at that point in his career mm-hmm. and – and Anthony Davis is actually that kind of player to be like held in that regard, not right below those guys, or even better, then this is the year where it's like, Lakers should win the title. No. If Anthony Davis wants to prove that he is the same level of LeBron, the same level of KD, no doubts about it, it's better than those guys potentially, he and LeBron win this title this year. That's it. Like I, That's why I'm afraid of the season. If they don't win a title, it's a disappointment. You have two of the, in the last 15 years, two of the most hyped players coming out, two of the best players to come out. You can't tell me that having them on the same team, yes, building, everyone wants to talk about all these weak, mediocre players, but, oh, you got to build a roster around them of weak, mediocre players? you got two of the best players in the league. They need to prove that they're two of the best players in the league for me to call this any type of success by winning a championship. Well, I think that's why they built a team like that. You know no, what the team they, they, they got to win this year. They remind me of when the Giants had Barry Bonds towards the later of his career when he was probably the most fearsome hitter. The Giants' whole goal was the reason why they didn't, they didn't care what their farm system looked like. They're like, look, we got to win now. So instead of bringing in some youngster that we're hoping plays this level, let's bring in a guy that I know exactly where he plays. Like, he's not going to get to this level. They brought in Kenny Lofton. They yeah. brought in uh, Richard, uh, you know, people that they knew what their level was. Jeff Kidd. Jeff Kidd. Je- Jeff Kidd. It's like, look, we know what their level is. We're no, instead of bringing some rookie that could be up here, I'm fine with right here. And I think that's what the Lakers built their team. They built, they that's brought what, in Avery Bat. That, that's, that's what LeBron does everywhere he goes the last and, three well, places. Well, he didn't do he that in Miami. He did that in Cleveland. He did that in Miami. No, in, in Aaron, Miami he Aaron, brought in. Aaron. Who did he bring in Miami? He did that in Miami. Oh, he, got Ray, he, got, he, got, Ray, he got Ray Allen. Ray Allen. He got fucking he uh, James Posey. He, he got didn't Mike start Miller. Off like that no, in Miami. He did, they did. Look, think about who he brought in the first year. Mario Chalmers. They brought in people. Yeah, no, no, Mario Chalmers is already there. There's nothing new about what LeBron's doing right now. He's doing the exact same have generational talent, you don't need yeah. to bring him. And attention. he has the best talented player that he's ever played with on his team right he now. Yes, he does. So prove that you guys are those players and win a title. Otherwise, it's bust. It's a title or bust in my yeah, eyes. Yeah, I, I think they feel the same way too. I don't see they, don't, they, they didn't assemble a team to the team they have now. They they better win a title. Otherwise, it's going to be They better win the title. They better win the title. Not, because be- Dude, you, gonna get hurt. you don't yeah. get the top two of the, the two of the hurt. top three players in the league to play together. That'd be like that'd be like LeBron and KD playing together, or you know, that'd be like uh, uh, yeah, Le- uh, uh, Anthony Davis and Kawhi Leonard. I think I think Jared, they know it's a title or bust. That's, they're the Lakers. They I mean, the they, Lakers they, have they, done this before. They've before. Yeah, they've done this before. All right, all right. Two thousand three or bust teams in the NBA right now, though. Yeah, there's a few. But the Lakers have a big history of this. They have a history of doing this. Come on, the pressure's there. They know it's not a big deal. Come on, when they put Carl Malone and. And they put Gary Payton and worst all team those Howard teams to, to first all time. those people together that weren't cohesive. I talk about I talked to Jason about playing FIFA and having good players, but their their chemistry is not good. This is why they, I don't. They I don't, don't have good. I yeah. don't. This is why you don't play chem- me in FIFA. Yeah, yeah. but that's why yeah. I don't play him in FIFA. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, I, not at all. <laughs> I, I feel I, like I think that this is a opportunity where they're gonna prove to either break the you know, buck the trend in LeBron's way or the Lakers have given up their future for the way they've won titles in the past. I was fine with giving away that future. That well, they, they did sign Shaq, but they had, they had good young players that evolved all together. But that wasn't a great future. It wasn't necessarily a great future. <laughs> I'm not saying it was, but what I am going to say is that Zion Williamson is 6'7", 
or six six, and the That's Lakers, if they don't win the title, might all fall apart again after this offseason. Oh well. Wait, wait. Well, they can build up again. Anthony yeah. Davis is going to well, be a free agent. I think. Jared, there's a reason why the Lakers have what them. six, seventeen titles. They're one behind Boston. They'll figure it out. They're they're premier. They, they've done this before. Look, they they were weak in the seventies. They get Magic Johnson. They get weak in the nineties. They built a team around Shaq and Kobe. They get weak again, and Jerry West gives them a gift. Then they get weak again, and they somehow sign LeBron. This is their history. It's not a bad deal. This isn't. You know how you were just talking about Oakland A's. You want to change that history. This is the Lakers' history. Regardless if it works or not, this is their history. This is what fans are used to. This is what people are used to. I told you. Always. Like, All right, my first 12 years of my life, the Lakers were. Yeah, the but, but we're talking about right finals. now, though. We're talking about right now. Like, I'm just saying that they have a history of yeah. playing but, for. You're, they're playing for something. I think it's going to go in flux if they don't win this title this well, year. What are they it's going to be in flux for, next year. Huh? What are they playing for? They're playing for the title like everybody else. Are they playing to beat Boston in championships? or they're... they're just playing to win the title. So you don't think it has anything to do with wanting to be better than Boston? Looks like they was playing to win the title last, last night. night. It looked like they are taking it out on the way <laughs> last night. I think they had a point to prove last night. That, that was just like, you know what? They opened in this fancy building. This is no, they look tight. They look tight. I was but like, they look good. They look, uh, they look really good. And I was like, that's gonna be something to fuck with. Like, this is not gonna hey, be, like. It's gonna be no, hard. I think it'd be a good team. I don't know. LeBron looked like he was gonna take off in Miami when they were playing uh, the Spurs, and then he got gassed out. Yeah, I'm just saying the heat up. They had the heat up. They they were also, hey. said, but they also said that this is the first time he's had more than like f- uh, four months off since the since the postseason since and high the school. regular yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he got injured the uh, Christmas Day game, right? Okay. Yeah. And then he barely yeah, played. He school. Yeah, so he basically has had ten months. And they were in fourth place wow. when he got injured. Yeah, like so, a, that's a great stat. Is so, LeBron the best player in the world ever? Like in life, is he? Is he better than Jordan? I don't know. Man, neither one of them better than Pee Wee Kirkland. <laughs> 